Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I'm gonna to give you a little update on the project lawn right here behind me that we seeded with the GCI Cool Blue. So let's get started. So bear with me today in today's video. I'm just getting over a cold, um, so I do sound a little nasally, so sorry if that's a problem to you guys, but just getting over a cold, so just wanted to do a quick update today, obviously on the project lawn right here behind me. So this is actually day 20 right here behind me. We overseeded on September 11th, never forget. Uh, so we did overseed on September 11th, day 20 right here. It's looking really great. Um, it's filling in. There is definitely a lot of germination from the GCI fall, uh, GCI seed, I should say. Um, and again, it's an 85% tall fescue. It's a 15% Kentucky bluegrass, the cool blue uh, GCI. Um, so again, it's germinating very well. Um, they're actually gonna cut it today and we're gonna throw down a second app of starter fertilizer. Uh, again, you could put throw down any kind of starter fertilizer that you would like. Um, you don't have to use the specific brand that we're using. We're using the Yarn Mastery uh, brand. That's just what we have on hand. Um, they have a whole bag of it and it will cover everything that they have here. Their yard is roughly about 8,000 square feet uh, front and back. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Throwing down a second application of that at 3 pounds per 1,000. And that should hopefully help you know, kick in the germination even more, um, drive those roots with the new grass seeds and just strengthen up this lawn even more. So as you can see, everything's looking really great. I'm gonna show you a before right here. This was day 10. And now here is day 20, obviously, right here. It's looking very good. Uh, it's filling in, it's green. Um, could it be better? Of course. Um, we probably went a little bit light on this seed. Um, I only had 45 pounds. That's what the the GCI cool, cool Blue comes in. It comes in a 45 pound uh, bag. So they could have probably gotten a little bit more, but we we're trying to save a little bit of money on the grass seed. Um, so we only threw down 45 pounds. Like I said, we could have did a little bit more. Um, but over here on the grass strip right here by the sidewalk, this is filling in really nicely. I'll show you a before right here and now an after. So obviously you can see it's filling in really nicely along the grass strip right here along the street. Um, this was an eyesore during the summertime. Um, it just didn't fill in from the prior year, but as you can see, it's really filled in real nicely right now. And it's going to continue to grow in throughout the remainder of the fall. So as you can see, I brought out the big boy today with the spreader. Um, Lawnbox actually sent that spreader out to me earlier in the year. Um, I believe it's a very common spreader. I think Earthway probably makes it, um, but Lawnbox, they just slapped their name on the side of it. Um, it's a really great spreader. Um, it, does, it is a little bit tricky um, spreading it sometimes. Um, I used it at my house and I actually got some fertilizer uh, burn from it. Um, so if you ever do get one of those big spreaders, I really suggest you uh, take your time with it. Uh, make sure you get used to it. Maybe do it on the side of your house where you're, you're okay with it messing up a little bit um, because it is a little bit tricky at first getting used to those big spreaders. Um, but with their backyard as big as it is, um, it makes things a lot easier. It's a lot easier uh, to spread things out. Um, so again, if you're interested in those big spreaders, um, check them out, um, especially if you have a big area like they have right here in their backyard. So we're in their backyard now. As you can see, it's filling in really nicely behind me. Um, it's really coming in great. I'll show you a couple before and afters coming up here, but everything's looking really great, um, especially this side over here. Uh, it was really bad. Um, it was just all, I know there's a little bit of a shade probably, but it was really bad and you could see it's starting to really fill in nicely now. Uh, it does have a little bit to go, but there's enough germination where we could deal with it and hopefully the second dose of starter fertilizer that we're putting down today just kicks it up a notch. Um, they do have dogs, so there is a lot of different ruts throughout here. Um, that's, that's what they have to deal with, just like anybody else. Um, it's the best that we can do. I mean, you can't keep your dogs off the lawn forever. Obviously, they have to go out and go to the bathroom, so it is what it is, but that's what we're dealt with out here. Um, but as you can see, it's starting to look really great out back here. Uh, the green is definitely there, um, so they are happy with it so far. And like I say, always, can an overseed be better? Yeah, of course it can be better, but they're, as long as they're happy, as long as you're happy, that's the main thing. Um, and that's what you can do. Just do the best that you can. 
Um, that's what I do. I try the best I can. I'm an average homeowner, like I've talked about in the past. Just a DIYer at heart. And as you can see here, this is what it looks like. And we're happy with the results. So this is the side that I was talking about earlier that was really bad. So I'm gonna show you a day a before on day 10 right here. And now obviously this is today. Um, it's looking really great. Um, they are happy, uh, especially with this side. And you can see there is definitely, I don't know if you can see with this shadow, but that's the best I can do for today. But there is definitely you know, some ruts from their dog. So, you know, that's what we have to deal with. And then over here, I'll do a little before and after as well. So obviously, this is what it looks like now, today. And then I'll show you a before, and now an after. So definitely really great results here on day 20 of their uh, fall overseed um, as opposed to day 10. So we're seeing great results. So we're happy with everything so far. One of the other things that they have done, they have cut back their watering. They're down to two times a day, um, about 20 minutes, all their zones. Um, so they're definitely cutting back the watering now that we've seen a lot of germination. Um, and I would say the germination as a whole, it's probably about uh, between like two and three inches for most of the, the grass seed uh, blades that we've seen so far. They have done a cut in their front. I don't think they they might have done one cut in their backyard so far. Um, but as you can see, overall, it's looking really great. So just a quick video today, guys. Sorry about the nasally congestion you're hearing. I can't help it. Like I said, I was trying to get out here earlier in the week, uh, but I just, I couldn't, and then I got sick. So thank you for bearing with me in today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy seeing the update on the GCI Cool Blue. Um, it is definitely a good seed. Um, I probably would say this, the germination, to be honest with you, is probably not as great as the Mountain View seed that I have at my house. Um, but overall, um, we are extremely happy with the results. And as long as I, they're happy and I'm happy, that's the main thing that matters. Like I said, they're average homeowners. They're just trying to have a nicer lawn. Um, and that's all they're really looking for. Um, and so far, they are happy. And that's the main thing. Whenever you do a project at your house, as long as you're happy with the end result, in my opinion, that's all that really matters. Um, when you put in a blood, sweat, and tears into different projects throughout your house, as long as it comes out nice and you're happy with it, in my opinion, that's all that matters at the end of the day. And like always, guys, if you found today's content enjoyable or if you like it or you like my channel, make sure you smash that like button. It does help out with the channel. It does help out with people finding my videos. So again, if you can, smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you have any questions or concerns, comment below. Um, I try and help out everybody if I can, if you have any questions or comments. Um, I try to get back to everybody um, always um, because I really do appreciate those comments. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. So again, if you have any questions or concerns, comment below and I'll get back to you. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. If you're interested in the five steps I did for my fall overseed, just like here at the project lawn and at my own house, check out the video right here in the end screen. And the other video in the end screen is a spoon feeding program that I'm gonna be doing at my own house for the remainder of the fall overseed. So check out that video as well in the end screen and hit that subscribe button right there in the middle and I'll see you in the next one.